Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. I will be doing install for the Rough Country 40 inch LED with the running light. And then I got some rock lights. Got two sets of these, so they'll go in the wheels, probably wheel well, probably something up under the front, then underneath the rail, back wheel well. And I've got that. With the hazard sky brackets to go up on the roof. All right, so uh, I may have forgotten to show this step earlier, so I went ahead and redid it. Um, these little tabs, I'll show you how to take these out. It's not too hard, it's just got to be a little careful. Sorry, it's wet. I just had a bunch of bird poop all over here, so I had to deal with that. So you just have to take a really small bit. And there you go out nothing's been damaged still reusable if I want to reuse it next we'll take all these bolts out it is a t30 Torx bit Yay, magnetic bits. <laughs> and these come off by sliding forward, then up. And there you have it. So now I was trying to figure out exactly where to cut a hole in the rail so I can run the line through. So I'm doing a test sizing right here. Looks like cut that tail a little short to keep the nice bit outside. So I'm going to end up going probably right about here for the hole. Now I just have to drill that hole. It might help if you take your drill off of a torque setting, put it on drill setting. We just have to run this massive amount of wire through the rail. So that way then we can set it up and I can get the rail up on top. So this is a part you might want two people to do. It's trying to reach that end and that end at the same time is a little hard. 
It's just a little too much resistance. Alright, I think that's where I'm going to end up at. Alright, so that goes there. Well, you really do have to push. Quite there. There we are. back on torque setting. I don't know which one, but we'll go with it. Got my shirt. Okay. Okay. You want know my two? Nope. Hey, this is hard one. Um, put the screw through. Yeah. Get it on the screw. Yeah. Alright, that is as far as I can get her. That's not too shabby. I'll leave it. Alright, so there's where the wire goes in. You need the silicone around that. But other than that, she's on. I think it looks pretty good. That's where the wire will come out. You need silicone around that too. So I've got this, put a plastic sheathing around it, put some zip tie anchors down to keep it out of the way of the hydraulics. 
pneumatics, whatever they're called. Ran it down from the brake hole. You can see it comes in down there. Have to find a way to attach it to some stuff up there. Probably some more zip tie anchors. And then I'm going to figure out how to route it up around here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up following the brake lines over the skid plates all the way up to the front. And then from there I'm going to go up in the firewall or up past the firewall. So we'll see how this works. Alright, so I'm going to zip tie it to this guy right here. And we'll probably try and follow this frame rail as far as we can. Get past all the suspension and up to there. Here is the last of it coming up into the engine bay. Now I just have to solder it to the switch, or solder it to the relays, and then run the switch inside. Then we have me some light bar. All right, so everything, relays are down, ground is down, positive is down, the only thing we have left to do... Where'd it go? The only thing we have left to do is plug the switch together to see if it works without anything exploding. this through the grommet in the cab and we'll be good so there is the grommet that we have to go through that covered in mud thing very hard to get to because this, this is where we're at I don't remember how I reached that the first time to get those pod lights in but there's a grommet and then there's a film on the inside that we have to slice through. So this will be fun. Yay! Oh, I can't see what I'm doing! All three a little bit. I'll hold. Oh, I might just call that okay. Grommet is in. All three a little bit. Hold. All right. We'll just call that dead. So there is that. Smothered in silicone as much as I could do it. Flashlight out of here. 
So this panel was pretty easy to pull off. Just had three, three clips right there. Freaking glued to that. Three switch, so there's my switch panel. I just have to get them all routed. there. I know it's a little ghetto, but this is my makeshift way of doing it for now. I might route them a lot better in the future. Ghetto. But it is what it is. It'll get better later. So the rock lights I have come in in through the fender. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. So it's there. Gonna have the wire coming down under here. Comes out under there. Got a little zip tie anchor. Pull everything down. I'm gonna follow it around on the inner edge of the rock rail. So hopefully it doesn't take any hits. And I follow that up through here. Which I haven't finished attaching this one. It's all wired. Got another zip tie anchor up there. And then the ground, each of those is individually grounded. Ground is down here. About the nearest bolt I could easily find. So I'm just gonna pop this fender liner back in. Since I'm doing the lights, um, someone was asking about the pod lights. These are just generic uh, four inch pod lights I got from Light Bar Supply. I was having a sale and this is what I got. They work decent. The mounts are just little clip-on hood brackets 
They also for CB antennas or whatever. But you just have little set screws that clamp it to the back of the hood. They've worked just fine for me. I have gone through multiple car washes. I have not had any issues. The only issue I do have is the bolts are rusting, so I keep having to touch them up with some silicone paint or whatever so I can keep that from dripping rust on the hood. This is with all of the lighting elements turned on. Got my 40 inch roof bar, my two four inch pods, my nice ditch slash fog lights. I do not have the brights turned on, but I don't need them in this setup. I mean, the, the rock lights don't look so bad. Just wish I had a little bit better coverage on the front end, but there is no safe place to put a rock light that's not going to get knocked off. And there you have it. I think they look pretty good. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, I'm happy with how it turned out. I love the light from that light bar. I like the extra glow from the rock lights. I kind of wish I had a little bit better coverage in the front, but that's just the nature of this beast. Once I get a better bumper maybe you'll have a place to put something but yeah it's I'm super excited after all the effort I've put into this and everything not quite going right every other time I'm working on it the next thing I'll be doing is Jeep Fest on July 5th through 7th Friday through Sunday doing the downtown evasion on the 4th at Thursday in Chillicothe Ohio if you guys want to come up, that'd be great. It's a great event. Last year was a blast. It's my first year. This year, I'm really looking forward to it. Now that I've got a lift and tires, I plan to conquer all of the stuff in the mod course this year. So we'll see what happens. Till next time, keep on jeeping, guys. And then back on again. That's not very much on the video. And here's mine. <laughs>